Welcome back to the vlog. We're here. I can't breathe. It's Saturday. I'm on a walk. Currently doing day one of phase one of 75 hard. Day one of phase one of 75 hard, ladies and gentlemen. We're back. The vlogs are coming back. I'm gonna be making them. Uh, First of all, I'm sorry if I haven't, because I haven't been posting, but also I'm not sorry. I've been working on my life, working on a bunch of different things. However, we're back. The vlogs are coming back. They're going to be twice a week. Just kidding. They're going to be every two weeks, and it's just going to be bringing you guys back to just the OG life, the OG style, where it was just like taking it through my journey from where I am to where I want to go. Trials, tribulations, the come-ups. But just the, the journey i just want to bring you guys back on the journey plus i love watching these things back and I, I just get inspired whenever i'm down i always go back to see where i started so it's always a cool way to just stay motivated and to just remember where we've been going guys and hopefully it motivates one of you guys to start your journey as well and uh set some goals and try to crush them so we've set a lot of goals we've crushed a lot of goals but we're still working on a lot of goals as well so like i said today's day one of phase one up 75 hard challenge i just finished 75 hard yesterday and instead of taking a break like i usually do i'm going right into it so i think upload day is going to be mondays like they've always been um but i'm excited and uh way fit's still going to be happening that's every saturday i'm dropping a fitness episode of like my fitness journey on a day-to-day -day basis and uh i'm just trying to stay consistent with you guys hope you guys have been doing a lot i've missed you guys um and it's just good to be back so hold me accountable but i'm gonna hold myself accountable too because i've been developing a lot more skills and more uh discipline so i think it's time to come back and share that with you guys what's up weight fit fam we're here workout saturday shoulder day just kidding abs it's the first day of the phase one of 75 heart so let's get it we'll see got done with my workout that's what i currently look like yeah we're shredded but not to the ultimate max i got some work to do i'm excited come on ladies and gentlemen let's get ready let's get ripped come on let's get swole happy monday just kidding it's freaking sunday <laughs> i'm getting my days mixed up heading over to speed training with james it's cold this morning let's get it <laughs> Go relax. Next one is bottom half of a jumping jack. So I don't know. Ready? I'm feeling it in my calves today. Good. Bro. Ready? Go. Just got done with my training session, so now I'm heading to church. It's Sunday. It's Palm Sunday. We got one more week of Lent left. Um, this year I actually didn't really cut anything out because I've already kind of just been trying to cut my vices but I added a bunch of different things. So I was doing like a daily, like a devotional slash with the Hot ha ha Hallow app. Or is it Hollow or Hallow? I'm not too sure. Uh, I'll put the link in the description. It's a really cool app where they were doing like daily, like prayers, daily uh, guided prayers, devotional teachings, stuff like that. So it was really cool. Um, I've never done something like that consistently. So that's something I added into my like daily um, Lent but also I think I'm just going to continue doing that as well. Um, so I'm going to also, and I also was reading like my actual devotion, devotional book and then like a verse of the Bible um, every single day. Um, a verse or multiple verses, I'm not too sure. So we're about to go to church. I'm excited. Um, I'm a little bit late, but we're getting better and better and better. And uh, something that I actually started doing recently, oh, red light, I guess God's giving me more time to talk to you guys. Um, something I started doing ever since the year started was my tithing. I've been doing a lot better with tithing, 10% of my income. And I've actually been doing that. And I'm actually really proud of myself because I've, I've always been a given person, but I wasn't always, like, I would give money to people on the street all that time. But for some reason I wasn't, 
I mean, I wasn't trusting to like really to give 10% of my income. I was like, and again, for the in the Bible, it says the love of money is evil. So the past couple of months, I've been forcing myself, not forcing, because now I'm just holding myself accountable to just give 10% of all my income. And a lot more income has been coming in. So I think it, it works, God. <laughs> I appreciate you. So I'm just sharing that with you guys to let you know that's something that's been working for me. Um, so my goal is to stay consistent with that and to keep doing that even when I'm making more and more money and to keep continuing to tie 10% um, If I'm being honest, sometimes it gets scary because like the more money you make the 10% gets bigger and bigger But also 10% is literally nothing So it's like I just got to stay disciplined and continue doing that. We're about to be at church right now uh, in like a couple minutes and uh, Maybe I'll tune in a little bit and give you guys a little something something from the service Monday. We're at the gym. I'm all sweaty. I got Todd. I got Victoria. The workouts are working in together. But we're here at the gym getting this young chest day in. It's my last week of the 16 week workout. It's also day three of phase one from 75 hard lift hard challenge or program. We're out here. I'm excited. It's going to be a good week. Stay tuned for more. Like I told you, more vlog content, more content in general. But let's get it. day three of live hard and one of my tasks is 100 calls a day no matter what so i'm trucking along and eventually i'll be doing something else i'm gonna catch you guys later this is got done making some calls well i'm halfway through them um i gotta get to 100 calls so i'm about i hit 50 but i gotta head over to vix for office hours so we're, uh we go in the lab and we just get some work done we do a bunch of different things uh specifically i work on the investor relations stuff for 25a capital um, just making sure that our investors and the potential new investors have as much value as we can possibly give them. And we're developing a lot of new systems, a lot of new ways to just make sure we offer that value to them. Um, yeah, so I'm heading over to VIX. And uh, yeah, 25 a Capital, that's our investment group, by the way. We buy like apartments because it's all about passive income. I've talked to you guys about that multiple times because I've seen clips from it. So we're scaling that company um, and we're bringing more and more people into it and giving people the opportunity to create passive income while investing alongside with us and like assets that they probably wouldn't go after by themselves. Um, so it's just all about creating teamwork. Vic always says this, and I'm sure you guys have also heard this from other people. It's better to have a slice of a watermelon than to have a whole grape. It's a whole grape, it's like this big, but a watermelon's huge. So if you get a slice of that, that's still huge. So it's about like partnering up, teaming up, and then coming together and putting capital together to put into deals that an individual couldn't do by themselves. And then you get paid on that cash flow because again, I'll, I'm sure I'll bring more value to it alongside, but like instead of buying like a small rental where you're depending on one person, and Grant Cardone talks about this all the time. If you buy more units, you're, depend you're not really depending on one person not paying rent. There's more cash flow coming in. You don't have to personally manage the property. The property produces enough cash flow to manage itself. Um, so that's what we've been working on. Uh, currently our portfolio we own about 150 units and our goal is to get to 500 by the end of the year and to scale from that on so in order to do that we need more and more people to be involved in what we're doing not just us the bigger the team the better and the more apartments we can actually get and take down so investor relations is super important so that's something that i have really enjoyed working on and uh i'm going to continue working on so i'll see you guys when i get to the eggs they just laid down mulch and lay down some mulch and just say, hey, why don't you take this clean slate and have fun with it? Enjoy it. Use it as a family project. Perfectly fine with me. We've done that so many times and they feel like it's a home of their own. And so doing these little things, you know, and spending the upfront expenditures right now to turn the unit, you know, you have the LVB flooring flooring that's going to last you. If, you. if you put it in the bedroom, for example, I know if it's a small unit, just put it in the bedroom. In the lab. Five, seven, working, ten years. Working, if you want to put really a stop in place. You, you get the um... yard. It's Tuesday. I'm currently heading to prop. I was literally on the phones a couple minutes ago, just making my calls, like my daily hundred. And uh, we got a lead. This one's gonna be. Uh, it's a duplex for one of our investors that we have an investor that's been looking for a duplex for a while. So 
just got on the phone with the seller and she's super interested in selling, she needs to sell. So heading over there right now to take a look at it. And uh, if it's halfway decent, we're getting it under contract. This would be a good one. Um, I'm bringing you guys along, I'm tying you guys along. And like I told you, more of the behind the scenes, more of the day-to-day -day life, not just the gym, business, um, all aspects. So stay tuned for more. So I was just at that property. Um, I think we're gonna go ahead and buy it. Just sent out the contract for it. So we're just waiting for the sellers to accept the offer. And uh, now I'm back at the desk making some calls. I think I got like 58 left for the day. So I got pulled away to go look at the deal, get it under contract, but I still gotta get my calls because it's not about how many contracts I get, how many deals close. It's about consistently hitting these metrics and filling the pipeline. And soon enough, we'll have an overflow of deals getting closed yeah this one's a hard one ladies and gentlemen it's currently 12 o'clock at night and uh <laughs> i'm still doing 100 minutes of content creation and then i got 100 minutes of posting and interaction i still gotta do my outdoor workout it's one of these days i mean i'm not complaining though because guess what i freaking just got a contract signed so they just signed the contract so all we gotta do is just get the report from this inspection sold and it's a deal done and that's completely worth it and me getting away from what i was doing and like postponing everything having to go take care of this deal it's worth it like me because i have to wake up tomorrow at six or today at six to be at the gym at six thirty. but yeah it's gonna be hard but guess what it's gonna be so worth it so yeah catch you guys later deuces we're out here, ladies and gentlemen. It's currently two in the morning. The sky is like super weird. We're about 25 minutes in, got another 20 minutes of this walk. And then I gotta go back inside, do my cold plunge, take my cold shower, read my 10 pages, finish my gallon, <laughs> do my 10 minutes of visualization, visu visualization, visual, I don't freaking know. And uh, eat my chocolate and go to sleep. It is definitely a long day. Got to be up at 6 o'clock because I got to be at the gym at 6.30 to train Victoria and Todd. Then I got to do my city, my phase one stuff all over again. And then <clears throat> I'm not staying home tomorrow night. I'm actually house-sitting for one of my business partners. So I'm going to have to go over there because they got a dog and a cat. And they need somebody to watch over them while they're gone. They're going to Hawaii. So I was like, I'll volunteer. Gives me practice staying in a super nice fancy house. <laughs> um... So it's going to be lit. I'm excited. Not, I just want some sleep, but you know, these times are the times we need to relish and I'm glad I get to share it with you guys. And I'm glad I get to record it so I get to watch this again in the future. So I'm proud of you, future self. And I know you're proud of me for putting in the work because now you're living the life, doing whatever you want. And uh, it was earned during these nights. So I hope you're taking care of all the hard work we put in and you're scaling and you're helping more people. That's enough for tonight. I'll catch you guys later. Peace. Last leg day of the 16 week, I'm dying. It hurts. You got young Victoria. I don't know if it's raining or not. I can't breathe. My body hurts. Today's video is coming to you live from this rainstorm. It's pouring. It's not too bad, but it's wet. We're doing a our outside workout we're about five minutes in yeah i'm exhausted today but we're still out here we're still working we're still grinding i gotta hit the gym after this definitely gonna need some pre-workout because bruh ugh, i'm tired i'm gonna catch you guys later this is what's up ladies and gentlemen today's friday it's the last day of my 16 week bulk i'm freaking exhausted or is that body read? I don't even freaking know. I'm running on two hours of sleep and I'm just dying right now. So, I'm trying to get this done. We're gonna get it done. It's almost done. It's almost over. We're gonna be done soon. And I can get home and then we start next week again. So, I'm excited. I'm gonna catch you guys later. Probably Saturday for the final day. Deuces.
It's Saturday. I'm heading to one of our properties. I've been doing tours all day. Uh, they're all spaced out, so I'm just like back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. This tour, um, it was supposed to be at 2, but it's 2.09. I called to confirm, the person didn't confirm, and then she just called me. She's like, I'll be there in a little bit. So now I gotta head over there, and then I got another one for 2.30, so it's whatever. But it's like, this is just dealing with human beings, and human beings are unpredictable, so... Yeah, let's just see as when I get to this property. Cause I'm helping out with leasing pretty much. Getting these things fully booked. Multiple hats, multiple hats. <laughs> this is the unit I'm showing today. It's a chill little one bedroom, one bath. It's right by the ocean front. I think the lights are off, let me see. It's like right by the ocean front. Like if you step out of here. I like the flooring in here by the way. Unless you step out, and then you go. It's like literally right here. I think you walk, you walk, you walk, you walk. You go down this street. The water's right over there. Now I just got a text message from the other person saying they're 10 minutes behind, which is fine. It all works out. But again, it's all just dependent on people. So again, the goal is to, for us to get so big that I don't have to help the company or the management company do this anymore. So this is the other property. Get it. All right, last workout. This was my last workout of this 16 week lean bulk slash recomp. Um, we're out here. It was a recomp. I'm the same weight, but I look completely different, like muscular wise. Lost a lot of fat, put on some muscle. The back's looking fire, dang. We're all here. We did a great job. I already started my cut, kind of, like diet-wise at least. So my exercise is about to start switching starting Monday. And uh, we're gonna do our cut till the summer. I'm trying to lose about 10 pounds of fat. So that's gonna be fun. I'm gonna look super lean. I'm excited. Abs looking great. Come on, we're out here. I love pushing myself. And it's fun to actually achieve the goals I wanna achieve. So try it sometime. I'm gonna catch you guys later. Deuces. Dropping in the daily walk. We're out here. Gotta get these steps in. 10,000 to 14,000 steps a day minimum, or else not working hard enough, guys. So you stay lean. Lean, mean, fat burning machine. <laughs> I was just thinking earlier, and I just got done watching um, the Logan Paul documentary. It was just cool just seeing how much he's grown. Oh, he's just been able to just do what he wants. He's evolving as a person. How's my eyes? I just washed my hair, finally. It's been like a while. He's evolving as a person. He's just becoming the best version of himself. And he gets to do whatever he wants. So it just kind of got me thinking again, because I've been vlogging again this past week. And it's kind of hard to shoot content, but not really. Like, but I just, I don't know. It just kind of clicked. The reason why I started this vlog was yet yeah, to inspire people, but to show like people they can do whatever they want. But it was also to show myself I can do whatever I want. And I realized that I'm my biggest fan and I'm the one who watches these vlogs the most. So my perspective for making these vlogs is kind of changing now. Cause I'm not, I'm gonna start switching it and I'm doing this for you, which is me, the future version of me. Because every time I watch the old vlogs, it inspires me, right? The old version of me working hard, straight dreaming, doing all these things inspires me. So now I'm doing this for the future version. So future so if this is for you, I'm gonna be addressing you a lot more. Like I'm gonna be talking to you a lot more. And again, this is for you to be able to like, I don't know what the future is gonna hold for you. You're gonna have obstacles like everybody does. So I want you to be able to watch this stuff and pull yourself out of whatever hole you're in, whatever depression you're in, whatever like thing you're in. And also if you get too crazy, too, too like successful and you become like arrogant, I want you to be able to watch this and remember where you started, bro because I want you to be the best version of yourself and then I want you to help other people do it. And for the people that are watching it, I'm still talking to you to an extent, but really I'm talking to myself and I'm gonna be holding myself accountable. And if it helps inspire you in some way, shape or form, I hope it does. However, I'm just doing what they say, put the oxygen mask on yourself first, take care of yourself first, and then maybe you'll be able to help other people. So, so we're on our way, this is it, let's get it. I'm proud of you and uh, Let's just help each other this week, okay? I got you, bro. Future version of me. <laughs> Deuces. Yard. So I just got done placing an order for some products from my Amway store. And just the 
it was like a two hundred dollar order, which is honestly nothing, but just the willpower it took for me to place that order. Because at the end of the day, I could go buy this stuff from the store, and it probably cost me like I don't know, less than a hundred dollars. <laughs> And I'm realizing I just paid double for everything. But again, it's not... Yeah, the products are amazing. They're great. But I think it's for what it's going to create in the future. And the team that I'm going to be able to have, the people I'm going to be able to help, the business I'm going to be able to grow. And again, in the grand scheme of things, for all the money I'm trying to make, $200 is nothing. But again, this is for you to see that <laughs> you struggled to make and to spend 200 bucks back in the day. And... Like, I'm struggling to do that right now. It's not like it's, like, that much money. And, like, I've spent more money on dumber things and, like, way more useless things. But, again, just the fact that spending that kind of money still took, like, willpower for me to do. Um, I hope we're making a lot more money back in the future and this is nothing. Uh, I know. I know this is going to be it. And, uh, again, it kind of just goes back to, like, stuff I learned in 10X. It's, like, the longer it takes me to make a decision for spending money for investing in myself the more my customers are going to take forever to do the same thing so and i have to be sold on my product right if i'm not willing to go in debt or to like spend money on my own product why would somebody else do it so it's a lesson i'm learning right now and i already know this lesson but i'm reminding myself that lesson so it's something i just wanted to share with you hopefully that uh, pushes you to push through whatever you're going through right now all right deuces Happy Monday, let's get it. Time to get this chest workout. I'm finally back to normal chest days. Whew, I missed it. Let's get it. We got young Victoria. This is her new PR on the bench. What is the math on this? 35 plus 50, 40, 20, 25, 45 plus 25. That's 70. Let's go. Come on. She needs to do six reps. Let's get it. All right, so I just did 195 for six. That was what I started last time at, but this is a new baseline. It was a lot easier. So we're going to go to 200 next week, which is going to be a lot easier. I think I definitely got stronger these last couple weeks. So I'm excited for that. Progress, bro. Keep it up. You better be like pushing like three something now at this point. All right? Let's do it. Come on. Just got done taking all the staging stuff out of Rion. This one was a good one. This one was a quick one. This one was in Virginia Beach. I think we got it under contract in 48 hours. That was crazy. Well, the flip thing it still works. Just gotta find a good location, good neighborhood, good project with enough spread, and no crazy luxury stuff. So right now we've been doing stuff low, like 350 ARV, because that's what the majority of people are able to get with the interest rates. So I wonder what interest rates are right now. That'd be interesting, because then maybe we've already upped it. Are we still flipping? I don't even know. Because remember, the main thing is passive income, and we don't get passive income from flipping. So hopefully by now we're buying a lot more properties. That's the goal. That's what we're going to be doing. And they're going to be more passive income properties. And then using the flipping to create capital. And we should have a bigger system, a bigger team um, that's going to be able to take care of that soon enough. So it's going to be fun. But this one is a good project. It's over and done. And now we get to focus on bigger and better things. Time for me to go get some food to break this fast. Amazing workout. I ended up staying there a lot longer than I should have, but I was just chatting up with Aiden. Um, it's cool to just hang out, talk, but I gotta make sure I stay consistent with my time frames, my times, make sure I do what I'm supposed to be doing. So I still did my sales call while I was at the gym though, so that was good. Um, so now we're about to head to the store and get some stuff for my smoothies. This is day one of my cut. I'm excited for the results and the after. So I'll catch y'all later, Dulces. I was heading home to go eat or to the store, and then I got called by our property manager that there was a showing she couldn't make two, or two of them. So I just got done with one of them. They're in the car over there. She really likes it. And then the next lady's coming over. So it should be interesting. I think she should be here like now. It's 12:21. Currently editing a video. Got the red light on. Need to recover. Today was crazy. I had three chest days. I didn't even record the last one. I was with Todd. And some arms, biceps. My arms are dying. I need to recover. Good. About to finish this cold plunge video. And I got like two, three more tasks for the day. And I'm going to sleep. This is. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Today is Wednesday, leg day. About to start. Just did my warm ups yet. 
are back into doing uh, normal lifting. Week one, week, week one of leg day. I'm super excited to be doing this again. Um, he's dope. Uh, Todd decided not to show up again this morning, so he's officially been kicked out of my training. I'm going to start looking for my next student. He made it to like week seven, so and he got some progress. So I'm happy for him. He can train on his own, but the one-on-one -on -one spot to train with me has been completely, completely revoked because this is the second week of him not doing it. So I'm excited to find a new person, and I have to hold my stand, self to standard, and just be compromising, especially with the fact that. I made an exception and still worked out with him Wednesday night, or Monday night, which I said I wasn't going to do anymore. So, got to hold myself to a new standard, new levels. No longer just going down to the level of the people that need to be going up. So I'm excited we got Victoria over here. I thought it'd be her like it. She's staying consistent and she can do it. He should have been able to do it. Um, so I'm excited to get to the next level, ladies and gentlemen. Um, today, once I'm done with this, I'm going back to back. 10x conference, virtual. Next year I'll be there in person, but now I'm doing it virtual. And uh, these have been like my best business months in a while, so I need to just double down, make sure that this time next year, we're doing some astronomical. What's up guys? Today's Friday, shoulder day. We're about to put in the work. I've already hit my heavy set and then my next heavy set, so I'm on the third lightest set, but it's still 75 for 10, so it should be fun. I'm gonna let you guys watch. <laughs> The vlogs are coming along. I'm excited to edit this one so I can get more ideas on how to make them even better. I'm just get back in the habit of shooting all the time. Let's get it. Currently on my walk, day 15 of phase one. <clears throat> um, I got about, I'm 31 minutes in, so 14 minutes left. Pretty freaking tired. It's 9.58, so I gotta do my cold plunge and my cold shower and read and finish drinking water and eat and pretty much all my critical tasks <laughs> but i needed to sleep in today i was just exhausted um but i'm still gonna finish everything i'm supposed to do so doing better felt like a weird day i didn't really enjoy myself at the gym until i ran into aiden cool conversation I pray you're still crushing your goals, Aiden. I hope you've still achieved your goals. Um, I just love talking to people that are just working hard at what they want to do and have big dreams. And don't think, oh, I just need to get by. Or, oh, I need to, like, barely make any money. Like, I'm great. It's not about the money, but I'm just, like, if you're not trying to have huge goals and huge things, it doesn't motivate me to be around you. Like, it's weird. So... And I've realized I just got to surround myself with people who want to do bigger things, even bigger than me. So then I'm pulled forward rather than trying to push everybody to think bigger or stuff like that because that's tiring, that's exhausting. And then you realize that most people don't even want to work hard. So that's what I'm learning. But I'm trying to stay positive as well. Ugh, my arms are dead. So today was abs and lower back day, but then I ended up doing chest and arms and triceps. Just felt like pushing hard today. So the cold plunge is gonna feel great. So is a cold shower. Uh, catch you guys later. I think I'm offloading all this content and I'm gonna edit episode one tomorrow. So that should be fun. I'm excited. Um, again, it's no crazy edits, nothing like that. This is just for the future version of me and whoever wants to watch it and take something away from it. <sighs> Catch you guys later. Deuces. It's the end of the week. It's Sunday. I'm about to go to bed. Well, technically it's Monday already. Gotta wake up early tomorrow. 
this was the end for episode one. I'm excited to be vlogging again. It's fun, keeping me accountable. And I'm already getting a bunch of ideas. I spent like all day watching a bunch of YouTube videos. And I was just getting more and more ideas on how to just make this more fun and more entertaining and just documenting what I do. Like not just like going to the gym, but the real estate, before and afters. I'm just making this more fun and documenting it in a way where I'm gonna enjoy watching this. And if anybody's watching, they're gonna enjoy watching it as well. So it was a dope week. Had a good time. A lot of growth. Well, two weeks, I guess, because these are going to be trying to come out every two weeks. So, yeah. So it's been fun. I'm going to catch you guys later. Catch you guys tomorrow or next episode. You guys are going to see me in two weeks. Um, but it's been fun. It's your boy Simply So saying deuces.